Hi guys and welcome to today's tutorial. In today's lesson we're going to look at uh, the chapter on world climates and we're going to look at the region of equatorial regions but we're going to look at rainforests. So rainforests are found in equatorial regions and they're very 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 important um, but we're going to talk about why they're important, we're going to talk about some of the problems um, which that, that's taken place in the world with rainforests being destroyed and then some of the consequences of the destruction of the rainforests. So we're going to look at a few things um, why rainforests are very important. And the first thing is, is because uh, rainforests help to reduce uh, the greenhouse gas effect. So reduce the greenhouse gas effect. And they reduce the greenhouse uh, gas effect because they absorb lots of carbon dioxide, CO2. And this... Uh, results in less uh, CO2 being um, getting into, uh, into our atmosphere and um, causing our uh, ozone layer to be, to be worn away. The second thing, uh, second reason why is because um, the, cause, because rainforests are home to millions uh, of people. So home to millions of people and animals. So people and animals and many of our um, medicines are actually found in the rainforest because of uh, all the plants and animals um, so many of the of like uh, of, of our diseases and our treatments that to treat diseases many of the of the antibiotics and the medicines actually come from the rainforest this is extremely important that we don't chop down um, the rainforest or else we could also, like, lose medicines. And maybe medicines that are undiscovered that we don't know um, yet how we could actually use them in the future. And just one thing to note, uh, up to one-fifth of bird species are actually found in the Amazon rainforest in Brazil. So, uh, for, so if, um, the entire uh, bird species, one-fifth, can be found um, in the Amazon rainforest. So we're going to look at some reasons for the cutting down of the rainforest. And unfortunately, it's not just one reason why the rainforests have been, are being destroyed. It's a, it's a number of reasons. And the first one is because of logging. Because wood is, is worth a lot of money, uh, many uh, people are deciding to, to chop down the trees so then they can sell the wood. The second reason is because of cattle ranching. Because meat... Um, it's such it's, it's so important to humans' lives, um, and we eat so much meat. Many people have are starting to clear acres and acres of rainforest in order to uh, put their cattle on to graze, uh, so then they can obviously sell the meat and make more and make money. So this is causing many farmers um, in South America to chop down uh, the trees so they can clear it for cattle ranching. The third reason is because of the rising population. So because the population has increased uh, so dramatically in the last hundred years, the rainforest being cleared away is to make more agricultural land. It's also um, being uh, destroyed so they can pay off some of the national debt. So I'll just put that in here, so the rising debt. The fourth reason for the cutting down of the rainforest is because of poverty. Because people are poor, because people are poor, uh, money is required, and by chopping down the rainforest, it's a good source um, of income. So people are chopping down the, the rainforest in order to sell uh, maybe the wood or maybe the mahogany or whatever it might be to um, the Western world, because there's a huge demand for it in the Western world. The next reason is because of indigenous tribes. So indigenous tribes are people, the tribal people who actually live within the rainforest. And many of these tribes um, use a slash and burn uh, technique to clear away the rainforest. And basically then the, the area of the forest is cleared and planted. And, they, clear, and they, they plant their crops and then they harvest it. 
and then after they've harvested it they might move on to another patch and this process repeats over and over again and because there's so many people so many indigenous tribes living in the rainforest so much of the rainforest is getting destroyed because of this slash and burn technique the next thing we're going to look at is the consequences of the huge amount of acres of uh, rainforest that's been chopped down and the first big consequence is global warming So global warming is on the increase and because rainforests produce so much oxygen and they absorb so much carbon dioxide, CO2, um, there is an, a, there's an additional amount of uh, burning of these rainforests is adding to the amount of carbon dioxide that's been released into the atmosphere. But also the trees are like absorbing less carbon dioxide. So we're getting, the trees are now creating more carbon dioxide because we're now burning the trees and they're not observing as much carbon dioxide. So this is leading to an increase in the amount of carbon dioxide that's being released into the atmosphere, which is contributing to global warming. The second reason is because of soil erosion. So because we're cutting down the trees, soil erosion is, uh, is, is increasing dramatically because usually the trees hold, the, like my, the trees and the, the vegetation have roots and they hold and combine the soil together and to stop and prevent uh, soil erosion from taking place but because they're being destroyed the, the trees and the roots are no longer there so their soil is free to uh, to blow away and this is causing uh, soil erosion. The third consequence is the loss of uh, flora and fauna. It's the loss of flora and fauna. So flora and fauna is plants and animals and the, the rainforest as we said is home to millions of different species. So all these uh, plants and animals could potentially uh, become extinct and the main thing the main danger is that we use lots of plants and animals for medic from medication and they may and many of the of, of our medicine comes from uh, the rainforest so if we get get rid of all the rainforest or we maybe get, like uh, destroy so much of the rainforest we might potentially destroy many species and, and many different plants that we actually use for medicine or maybe we will destroy plants and animals that we could potentially use in the future to cure certain diseases. The fourth um, consequence of uh, deforestation is the loss of indigenous tribes. So the loss of these indigenous tribes now, these indigenous tribes have lived here for thousands of years and many of these now are being forced to not live in the rainforest anymore or not live where they used to live because the rainforest has been uh, cut down. Okay, so we're going to look at some solutions to uh, stop and to prevent uh, deforestation. And the first solution is, is debt for nature swap. So debt for nature swap and this would basically involve um, the western world, the countries in the western world reducing the foreign debt that maybe some of the countries particularly like some of the countries like Brazil might owe them in return that they stop cutting down uh, the, the rainforest to try to pay off the debt of course this would be difficult to police and to manage um, but it is a solution um, to the problem because may, a lot of times um, the government might be chopping in the, the rainforest in order to, to, to sell it and to make money and then to, in order to pay off the national debt. A second thing would be to uh, reduce, uh, a second solution would be to reduce demand for wood. So this would um, be up to the western world, for, so us, to stop demanding like hardwood woods such as door uh, to use so we can like f like mahogany to make like doors and tables and floors and that would save um thousands of hectares each each year as if the demand wasn't as strong uh, they wouldn't chop down the rainforest the third solution is to have uh, some eco tourism and eco tourism is where tourists could actually benefit the economy by going to visit the area but they wouldn't inflict any damage on um, 
on the rainforest they would it would be done in a way that it's it's uh, it's it's the the rainforest protected but many people would be able to go and visit the rainforest stay there and this would bring lots and lots of uh money into the rainforest and then it would obviously provide jobs for local people and it could be a very sustainable uh way um to to move forward the fourth solution is to have maybe some sustainable development so sustainable development and sustainable development means basically this would ensure that like mahogany trees and trees that are quite popular basically if one is chopped down that they plant two or three more so therefore in the future they will still always have the same amount of trees as they had before or even more the only problem with this sustainable development is it'd be very expensive um, for the developing world as, uh, as they would have to plant all the trees after they've cut them down and this could be quite costly to maintain and to grow the trees um, and to plant them so this is one that might be a little bit difficult. Okay so I hope you've um, enjoyed this tutorial we've looked at basically the equatorial region and we've looked at the rainforest and we've looked at why the rainforest is so important, why it's been chopped down, why is deforestation is happening, the consequences of rainforest um, like being, being cut down and then the solutions to uh, deforestation. If you'd like some more videos please go on to the website examvision.e and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks guys.